Alright, hi guys. Um, hopefully you can hear me over my air purifier because it's really loud. If anybody's still out there, <laughs> I'm here. But um, I've made a million videos, but for some reason my internet hasn't been working or I never uploaded them. Um, I've done Weight Watchers again. I've done Whole30. Um, sugar addiction is super strong right now. And the dog always turns TV back on. Um, this summer, well, it was actually started in May. Oh my goodness, you're spilling the coffee on me. Thank you, doggy. Um, I started down a very dark rabbit hole of depression. Um, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet because I usually don't. Uh, we were in court all summer with issues with my stepson um, and his mother we won which is a good thing she was basically trying to split up the family um, because my stepson is 16 and throwing a fit um, and she I mean we've had this arrangement for nine, ten years. That's, I mean, that's how long my husband and I have been together. So, um, anyways, the judge decided it was not in his best interest. So, we have all that stuff going on, and it just really kind of caused some major depression in me. Also, I have had some somewhat major uh, medical issues. What I would consider major, just because I'm me, I guess. Um, I have Guillain-Barre syndrome. I was paralyzed from the middle of my chest down, like right below my lungs, thank goodness, because it can paralyze your lungs and you have to be intubated. Um, but anyways, I was paralyzed from there down, could not walk for six months, had to go through rehabilitation when I was 25 or 26 to learn how to walk again. Sorry, child go. Thank you. Um, and I've been having those symptoms come back. Uh, I've had numbness in my hands, which I did never had before, in my arms, my legs, um, actually my face. I thought I was actually having a stroke. I really did. And I was scared. Um, but like half of it started with half my face, it went numb. And then the, it spread and the rest of my face went numb. It still worked but I couldn't feel it and it was tingly and it was numb. My tongue has actually gone numb. My lips have gone numb. Um, ears, I mean, you name it and it's gone numb, which is just, it's scary for me because I'm a scared death of beyond break coming back again. Um, because I really can't, I can't do that anymore. Um, if anybody knows me, September, October are not good months for me anyways, depression-wise, because my son's birthday is actually next Monday. Um, he's turning 18, uh, and even though you can focus on the positives and what he can do, my oldest, for the most part, most of the year, for me, around his birthday time, it just kind of, like his 16th birthday, we weren't getting him his driver's license, we weren't putting him in driver's ed, we weren't, you know, just all those things that he can't do. Um, and this year has been um, a little bit more stressful as far as that goes because we have to worry about um, POAs and all those things. Oh, and my children trying to kill each other, that's nothing new. If you watched my vlogs. So I cease and desisted that. Um, so POAs, all that kind of stuff, I actually, we went and got his ID, so that was exciting, that was a fun thing. Um, my seven-year-old has been acting out at school lately, I think it has a lot to do with what went on this summer and all the stress that was going on through the house. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm stressed, he's stressed, I found a therapist, started going to a therapist, and then, hmm. About six sessions in, she told me she was no longer going to be practicing because of her own health issues. 
and suggested that I see one of her associates in her office. I'm trying to put coffee over here without spilling it. And, um, you know, I just decided against it. It was good for me, but I got used to her and I really didn't want to, um, get used to somebody else. I mean, honestly, and I was comfortable with her and it was really amazing that I was comfortable with her because I'm not comfortable with ones that I have dealt with before. So, um, I've had my blood panels done. I'm low in a few things. No thyroid issues. Um, so long story short, I guess, is that I am going to, this is Monday the, I think it's the 16th, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to be trying to do keto again, just because it's lazy keto. One of the easier things for me to do right now. Um, and anything's got to be better than what I've been doing. I always say that. So that is like the update. Um, I just, I really need to get out of the depression funk because I don't feel good. Also, my husband's working, been working like nonstop and I like never have a husband, <laughs> which is a little depressing because it's like he's never around. Money's good, but again, I'm, he's never around to help with kids. He's never around to talk to. So it's just, I don't know. It's been a little bit upsetting <laughs> for me, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I know he has to do it. Uh, oh, William and I went to a Seahawks game a couple weeks back, which was amazing. Uh, my husband's work bought tickets and then they were like raff or pulling them out of a hat or something and he called me on a Thursday? No, he called me on a Friday because the game was on Sunday. He called me on a Friday and said that he won, he won the tickets and there was only two and he was like, you're taking William to the Seahawks game, which was very nice of him to let us go. Um, but he knows how much William loves the Seahawks and it's his 18th birthday this year, so we I had to scramble, find money and somewhere to stay and it was just, and I have social anxiety, like there is no other and I like to plan things and it was just very stressful for me but we made it we had a great time he had a great time um, I might insert a picture of like the little shadow box that I made um, so yeah I think that's it that's what's going on today is day one hopefully of keto because I have a baby Ruth bar over here that my husband left in the house he keeps on bringing me candy I swear to god he wants to make me fat or he has some plan because he knows I can't say no to the Halloween candy. He was bringing, I mean, like handfuls of it home, and I'm like, no, please stop. But um, I'm trying to stay away from that right now because I really do want today to be my first keto day. I was gonna do it yesterday, but it just didn't happen because he was actually home for once, and um, he likes to eat out, etc. So anyways, that is the update. This little guy, I don't know if you remember seeing him when he was a baby, but he's a big boy now. Look, look, he's a Loki. He's a big boy. He's really not that big, but he's a big boy. Huh. Mama's bunny boy. You gonna look down? You're not gonna look up. Bunny. Um, so he's like, gotten a lot bigger. He used to be tiny, tiny. Um, so yeah, that's the update. Day one of keto. I may make a vlog about what I eat. I don't know. I don't know how much I can, well, I might disable comments or something. I don't know because I don't know how much criticism I can take at this point. Um, constructive criticism, I guess, but not mean criticism. But anyways, so I will try to remember to insert a picture of the Seahawks shadow box and fun that we had. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.